Hey guys, my name is Mark, and in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can get a vertical slider shot like this, this, and this, with just a tripod. One of my favorite techniques with the tripod is the vertical slider shot. And it's a trick I've been using since my XL1 days, and one that I'm still using today. Best of all, you can do this with just about any tripod. I just love a good camera move to make a shot more dynamic. So, technique. This is the Manfrotto B Free. It's more of a photography tripod as it doesn't really have a fluid head, but it's fairly inexpensive and I thought it's pretty standard, so I might as well use this to demonstrate this technique. So to achieve this vertical slider shot, simply unscrew the vertical head lock lift the camera up to its highest point. And the nice thing about gravity is it's a constant force, it's just a matter of harnessing it and letting it do most of the work here. So to do this, I'm going to use my left hand here and place right at the base of the joint and hold. And I'll use my right hand to offer some extra support to the base of the tripod like this. It is important to mention that with the vertical head unscrewed, it can get a bit wobbly. So to get around this, I simply apply a bit of back pressure and it locks it right up. Now it's simply a matter of releasing the tension in my left hand and gravity will take care of the rest. Vertical slide. Now as simple as this is, there are a few technical tips I would consider when shooting these. I always shoot these in manual focus since they're almost always performed with a vintage lens but it's a good idea to switch to manual focus even if using an autofocus lens. You don't want your autofocus hunting during your shot. So always make sure to set your focus point before you start the actual move. How fast or slow you want the move to be is really up to how much pressure you apply to your grip. I find it takes a bit of practice to get the right motion balance down, so keep that in mind. The shot might be a little janky at the top and bottom of the move. The midsection is where the money is, so block your shots accordingly. I find a shot like this particularly effective when you've got some foreground and background elements to really emphasize depth. You can see in this shot, with nothing in the foreground, the movement is mostly lost. Stick a tree in the frame, and you immediately get a sense of depth. Also, we're limited to one direction for the move when shooting, but you can always reverse the shot in post-production. Just be mindful of what's in the frame when you want to reverse it. Nothing draws attention to a cheat more than someone riding their bikes backwards. But that's pretty much it. It's super easy and really effective. I'd be curious if this technique works for you guys, so let me know if you've tried it and how it's turned out. This is one of those things I've just done it for so long and it served me so well, I always kind of wondered if this would be of any value to anyone else. So here we are. All right, well, that's it for this video, guys. Short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.